Have you ever had an experience where someone just totally rubbed you the wrong way? In today's video, I'm going to share with you a strategy to eliminate any and all negative feelings towards other people by practicing radical acceptance. In another video, I talked about my family trip to Europe last summer, and it was one where I had to accept my family as doorknobs. Not as in like, ah, yeah, doorknob, but more like, eh, doorknobs. You see, there are things that exist in your home that don't make your life better or worse, they just are. Things like doorknobs. And because you accept your doorknobs exactly as they are, that is radical acceptance. So one of the secrets to releasing negativity towards other people is to accept people exactly as they are. Now, whether you believe in nature or nurture, most people have very specific definable tendencies. Understanding people's behaviors and tendencies has been a study of mine for a very long time. I probably should have studied psychology or sociology instead of broadcasting in college, to be very candid. Um, there's a lot of different ways that we can do this. Myers-Briggs personality test, the DISC profile, the Enneagram, colors, or the one that I prefer, which is called social styles. And social styles suggest that we all fit into one of four buckets that are dictated by how we communicate. We are either ask or tell oriented, and we are either controlled or emotive. Someone who is ask oriented and controlled is analytical and focuses intently on data and information. They ask why a lot, and it might take them an exceptionally long time to make a decision, and they'll do copious amounts of research prior to deciding. They might have limited eye contact and generally might not seem super friendly at first. A person that is ask-oriented and emotive is amiable. They love consensus and dislike conflict. They're very warm people who are interested in you, your life, your family, and how you're doing. They are typically more emotional and as a result, they might be insulted easily. A tell-oriented person who is also controlled is known as a driver. Drivers are task driven. They like to get shit done and keep chit chat to a minimum until they finish their list. Drivers are quick to make decisions. They just know and they can't understand why people cry at work or at home. They would rather pour tears on cereal and eat it than cry. And last but certainly not least is the tell oriented and emotive group known as expressives. Expressives are loose cannons. They love to have fun and are typically over-programming themselves. Their task list is huge and they'll get to it right after telling a story about what happened over the weekend. They are typically gregarious and the life of the party. And keep in mind that these are only tendencies, but once you know what you're looking for, it becomes very easy to spot them in another person. Sometimes just by realizing, oh, he's a driver or she's an amiable, it also allows you to find more acceptance. And by having more acceptance, you'll have more peace. Peaceful days mean bigger days and a bigger life in general. And in the end, aren't we all just supposed to get along anyway? Now you get along with subscribing to this channel and dropping a comment down below. You see it improves the YouTube algorithm and pushes this video higher up in the rankings so other people can see it. People that are like and unlike you and me. You see, here's to a bigger life. See you on the other side.